With the most recent Chanel price increases of up to 25%, it makes our next purchase even more hard to swallow. So in this video, I wanted to share with you handbags and items that I still feel like are worth the investment. Hi my lovelies, welcome back. If this is the first time you're watching, hi, my name is Amy. And so today, I'm gonna share with you the items that I still feel are worth investing. And I wanna use the term investment very loosely because obviously we all know luxury in general are not investments. But since you're watching this channel, you are a lover of luxury and you are contemplating your next purchase perhaps or you're just curious about this topic. By the way, everything I'm wearing will be linked down below because I know you will be asking this beautiful sweater I just bought very recently. It's a cardigan from Balmain and it's very stunning. I highly recommend it. I have a black one on the way. You can also wear it kind of open. My tennis bracelet from Julia. Reversible ring. So on one side, there's the little flower, which is pretty generic. But on the other side, I have a little picture of my nephew. But two live stream videos ago, I discussed the topic of price increases. At the time, it was only rumored that Chanel was about to have one. Luxury houses tend to increase their prices on average two to three times per year. The fact that it did happen during our health crisis is unfortunate but I just feel like it's something that is bound to happen anyway. And the fact that luxury is a non-essential service it really does not matter to them. I think a lot of people are mad about the timing. I, I think a lot of people are mad about the rate at which it increased, which I, I have to admit it, this time uh, the increase is quite large, like for the minis, 25%, that's crazy. The real wealthy people will still buy anyway. So the demand will always be there. I feel like even with people like us who do save up for luxury items, we'll just have to save up a little longer because let's be real, I'm not about to stop buying Chanel bags. Let's be real. So the first bag that I'm gonna share is probably the most unusual and maybe very unpopular in terms of opinion. I still feel like the classic flap is still worth investing in or worth buying. I know, it's been crazy. The price increase has been insane. Obviously, I always, always advocate buying what makes your heart sing. So if you're not into the classic flap, do not get it. This is just my opinion that if you are into the classic flap, then I feel like the medium large, even the small size, but I feel like especially the medium large is still the bag to get. You're looking at a $10,000 bag for a medium large, which I know is insane. And I still recommend it. Why? Picture yourself in 10 years or in 20 years. Are you still going to be wearing that bag? Because if you love it that much, chances are you're going to have the bag for a long time. And if you don't buy it today, it's just going to keep on going up because the trend of the classic flap is that it has been going up every single year. And sometimes the jump is really high, like this year. So it's just a matter of biting the bullet i feel if especially if you don't own one already if you own several ones maybe you don't you don't need to get it but if you do not own one and your heart is set on a classic flap i still truly believe that it is the one to get. Of course, you can choose a different size too. If you're really into the small or the jumbo or the maxi, choose whichever one makes sense for you. But in general, I just feel like the medium large is the most universal. I have here the square mini flap and the rectangular mini flap. I feel like both of them are worth it. Depends on your preference. I personally really like the square. And yes, the rectangular went up by almost 15% and this by 25%, a whopping 25%. It is insane. Just like the classic flap, in 10 years time, are you still gonna be wanting it? Chances are you are gonna be wanting it. Also, what I really love about the mini flaps, which is the reason why I have several, is that they are really the bags of the next generation or, or of the future, I feel like, because things, like I mentioned before, things are getting smaller, more compact, more easy, more convenient. We have debit cards now, Visa cards now, we don't really need to carry cash or coins anymore. Phones are getting thinner. Uh, they may be getting larger, but they are getting thinner, more compact, and they serve more purposes. They're your agendas, they're your camera, they help manage your life. So in a way, you really just need a phone, a card holder, and some lippy and just whatever miscellaneous which is the reason why i feel like mini flaps are so really worth it not only practically speaking but the fact that they're super well made and they do look they give you the same vibe as a classic flap bags that are seasonal but that have the same look or vibe as classic flaps so for example the cocoa handle it has 
all the features well not all but it has a lot of the features in fact the coco handle has come back every single year maybe not every single consecutive season but it has come back every alternative season and that also applies to the boy bag to the trendy cc i feel like those are very iconic shape i feel like these styles don't date as easily i mean they're not going to be as solid as your classic flaps or your mini flaps for sure but they're still very nice and to be very honest if you watch my channel if you know my collection you know that i own a lot of seasonal bags because i always felt like seasonal bags are more worth it they're different the chanel 19 which is relatively new the prices are still at the lowest in history so if you're after this style of bag even though i know this is not as classic as for example this in terms of like vibe um if you're after the style go ahead and get it now especially because prices are only going to go up and regardless of whether this will retain its investment value or not like i always say buy what makes your heart sing because at the end of the day you're the one using it so it doesn't really matter what other people think and what the trend tells you whether the value is still going to be there or not unless that's what you care about the seasonal pieces that are exceptionally beautiful but also really well priced here i have two examples of it i have right here an slg i call this the round clutch with chain but when this came out the price was so reasonable it was around i think 1650 canadian dollars or 1400 us dollars plus taxes obviously so a chanel item that is under 2000 is really unheard of yes i know it's a little slg but regardless you use it as a bag or you like it you love it it doesn't matter i'm just glad that i have it because trust me this is gonna go up too this is gonna be in the threes four thousand in the future or more and at that point you're not gonna want to buy it anymore same thing with the bucket bag the bucket bag was a seasonal bag when it came out i didn't buy it immediately so i did have to get mine from a personal shopper but it's still worth every single penny because the retail price of this one was i think 3500 us plus uh sales tax which is still very reasonable considering that a mini flap was also 3500 but you're getting so much more bag and this is one of my most used my most durable and also it it fits a lot so you know at the end of the day seasonal bags to me they're more fun they may not be the same construction and quality as the classics as we know it uh, they may not be leather line and all that stuff but at the end of the day you know you have bags that you collect to collect but you also have bags that you buy to use uh, small leather goods as well as costume jewelry uh, especially if you're into costume jewelry if you're not then of course to skip a lot of chanel costume jewelries have been skyrocketing these are not the ones that i'm gonna recommend in this video although of course if you want them buy them because they're stunning i love them to death but the ones that i'm gonna recommend are just the ones that are a little bit more well priced i don't know why and i hope that chanel keeps doing that they kind of alternate seasons where some seasons are a little bit more expensive just in general everything is a little bit more expensive including their shoes and uh, ready to wear bags as well as accessories but some seasons are a little bit more decent as long as you keep your eyes open on the pieces that just seem like the price is too good to be true then i feel like you can get really good value out of these things these i bought them in the states for 525 us plus tax but for a big pair of chunky earrings like this at this price for chanel it's still considered really reasonable nowadays this pearl necklace it was one of the most reasonable pieces that i've ever found that was well under two thousand dollars and so it's possible it definitely is possible to to find exceptional design exceptional prices pieces that are still chanel that will make your heart sing and i feel like that's when it's worth it especially if you're just starting off and you really can't afford a whole bag for a few thousand dollars i feel like slgs even though their price might have gone up is still in the affordable range the last category i'm gonna recommend for chanel are shoes in particular the one with the pearl detail on their mules or their heels if you're not into heels i feel like their ballerina flats are still really reasonable because they do give you that practical but polished look good pair of chanel sneakers no one can deny or even the slides the summer slides oh my gosh they're so beautiful i want to 
I want to get a pair of Chanel slides that fit me. Now let's jump into Louis Vuitton. I still feel like for LV, the most classic, basic canvas pieces are still worth it. Because let's be real, again, you're probably buying Louis Vuitton because you either love the brand or you love the monogram canvas or you're just really into the practicality of these items because these canvas bags are very well made, um, very classic looking, they are everywhere of course for a reason and the fact that they're still really comfortable and very practical for what they are. Of course, you can find other totes that are a fraction of the cost and you can find other uh, little duffel bags like this that are a fraction of the cost, but it's not going to give you the same feeling. The canvas and the straps and everything just gives you that very iconic look that you cannot really get with an alternative. The next category I'm going to recommend are new releases. And right here, I have the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire and I feel like if you're gonna get into LV, uh, or if you still want to be buying LV pieces despite the price increases, the new releases are where you want to be going, I feel like. Especially if you love the style. Of course, you're not gonna love everything that's new, but once in a while, they'll come up with a piece that's super stunning, super versatile, and very, very practical and very comfortable, such as this one. I feel like this style was a love or hate at first but a lot of people realize that they love it afterwards which is me i'm one of them and because they're new releases their prices at, are at their lowest so this piece already went up by three or four times i i, I lost count but i'm just glad that i got it before another price increase right now the newer releases are still at their lowest price in history. They're just gonna go up, they're never gonna come back down. The only exception is that unless they decide to discontinue the style and they become very unpopular, and then so on the secondhand market, they might be flooded with uh, these items that are a lot less expensive than the retail. That's very possible, but you kind of have to judge for yourself as well and kind of observe the market. As of right now, this bag is still really hot and still really hard to get. Leather bags that are on a very decent price range. The Alma BB is one of them because the Alma BB is just one of those most classic looking bags that's very durable and I don't feel like it'll ever go out of style or ever go away. It might go out of style cyclically because fashion does cycle back, but in general, I feel like the Alma BB is a solid classic and the price point is still well under the $3,000 range. Other alternatives that you can look at that are very well priced are something like the Spring Street. Another example is the Pochette Grenelle, which I also talked about in my wish list. So what did you guys think of my choices? I feel like a lot of them made sense, but I do know that maybe a couple of them you guys are gonna disagree with me which is fine because we're all entitled to our opinion let me know down below what is your next purchase or what do you feel like your next purchase will be because uh, you know by the time stores reopen I'm sure the price would have gone up already unless you have access to an essay or a personal shopper that can help you ahead of time but chances are like the most of us myself included um, the stores reopen after the increase has already happened so what do you guys plan on getting and do you feel like they're still worth it because I know some people don't feel like it's worth it and it's completely fine the thing is you do you you work with what you're capable of. Maybe if you feel like your values is no longer in luxury because uh, it's just gone to the point where it's too ridiculous, that's perfectly fine and perfectly understandable and I respect that. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Please consider subscribing. Please give me a like as well. I will really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye guys!